Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. It's been a while since I've made a video for my playlist here on the channel called Bench Mess, but i got a mess going on the bench tonight, so I think this is a good video for that playlist. I'm getting ready to head out to the retreat this weekend and put some final touches on my off-grid solar power project out there, and that's the addition of internet to the off-grid solar power system. For those of you who follow my channel, my previous installation, which I call version 1.0, the controller was in my cabin and allowed me to run a piece of Cat5 cable from the controller directly to my internet router. But now that I've moved the system out of the cabin and up on the hill above the cabin, I don't have a Cat5 cable that I can run the 60 feet down to the cabin and I don't have conduit in yet. So I gotta come up with a wireless solution. And my solution is an older product here I got used off of eBay and that's a Linksys WET54G Wi-Fi bridge and what this will allow me to do is take the Ethernet port on the charge controller which is a Morningstar TS MPP T60 charge controller take the Ethernet port and connect it into this port here and that'll convert it to Wi-Fi I picked this unit that's why I got this used because it has a removable antenna so I also ordered a 12 inch reverse polarity SMA bulkhead cable so I can take this antenna off put the cable on drill a hole in the bottom side of the Hoffman box which will have a bulkhead connector for SMA and have this unit inside the box and then have the antenna on the bottom side of the box making the connection to our Wi-Fi router down in the cabin. For powering this it's a little bit of a challenge. This is an older Linksys product and runs off of 5 volts. The newer stuff is 12 volts so I can't really use this wall wart because I don't have an inverter out there yet so my solution for that is one of these voltage regulators. This is a 9 volt, I think the 20 volt DC voltage regulator, which gives me 5 volts out on the pin that I can run into this box here and power this box. This is a 2 amp voltage regulator, and my local Radio Shack was going out of business. I think last week was its last day, so I picked up a couple of these transistor mounting module kits. It has all the hardware in there, the screws, the insulators, the little uh, pad that goes in the back and picked up some heat sink compound to put on the back of the transistor, the pad, and then on the metal box itself. So I'm going to use this voltage regulator to power this box and then I'll be able to connect the charge controller to the internet and remotely monitor my system out there, make sure things are healthy and once a month if I can't get out there trigger that required equalization cycle. Something else I'd like to mention in this video, I just started a brand new channel called Off Grid Cabin and I'll put a link down below and this channel is just going to be dedicated to my off grid solar power projects and my rainwater harvesting projects out at the retreat location so I'm going to start to segregate out those types of videos from the comms prepper channel and move them into the off grid cabin channel to keep the comms stuff separate from the prepping homesteading type off grid type stuff I'll probably put videos still on this channel that cover that but some people on this channel just don't want to see that kind of stuff so it was suggested that I make a separate channel to put that kind of stuff out there so if you like that stuff or that content here on my channel please take a moment and click the link below and go out to subscribe to my new channel it isn't showing up yet if you search it on YouTube but it's off dash grid cabin and again I'll put a link down below and I'll start putting more videos up there on that channel including this project that I'm going to start this weekend to get this mounted and I'll make a separate video on actually how I programmed this unit. This is a really cool unit. They got some newer versions out there, but it's hard to find one with a removable antenna. But if you do have devices that only have an Ethernet jack and you want to connect them to Wi-Fi, there are solutions to add Wi-Fi capability to those devices. So as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a long overdue video for the Bench Mess playlist and announcing my new channel, Off Grid Cabin. Check out the link below, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.